In this video, I'll show you how to record your screen in Windows with a free tool that's already on your system. The program we'll use is called the Snipping Tool, and there are several ways to access it. You can hit the Print Screen button on your keyboard, and the tool will appear up here. You can also press Windows Shift R. If you want the tool to be a window that you can move around, go to the search bar here, type Snipping Tool, and then select it here. I'll use this method today. Now to put the tool in video mode, click this icon here on the right. The left side is for a static screenshot, the right side is for video. From here I can press the New button, and I can drag an area of my screen that I want to record. If you want to record the whole screen, the easiest way is to just grab the corners and drag them to the corners of your screen. I'll just capture this little window here in the middle. Up here we have options for capturing the audio. You can enable the microphone. It's disabled by default, but click on this to select it if you want to turn it on. And we can also capture system audio. Right now it's on, but if I click it, it'll mute. I'll unclick it. Now to record your screen, simply press the Start button here. So I'll just play a little bit here. Let's do a few things. I can pause the recording. So if I click pause, I can do something else and then I can resume the recording again. When I'm permanently done recording, I can click the red square here and this will stop the recording. Now that the recording is stopped, I'm back in the snipping tool here and I have a couple options. First, I can trim the video. So if I press trim here, I can choose if I want to trim off the beginning of the video or the end of the video. This is good if the beginning of your video was you just getting stuff into position and you want to get rid of that in your file. When you've trimmed it how you like, you can click apply. You can also edit in ClipChamp, which is Microsoft's free video editor. And when you've done everything you like, you can save the file. You can save it as a GIF file here. Or if you click on the disk icon, you can save it as an MP4 file. And then the file is ready for you to do what you like with it. Now the three dots appear control settings for the tool. I'll click this. And then you can say settings. Down here under screen recording, you can change the default behavior. So if you want to have the mic always turned on, you could check this box here and it'll always record your mic by default. Note here that you can also see where the screen recordings are saved to. So if I click open folder, I can see the file there. Now sometimes you may find that the video file you created is way too big. If you want to know how to compress your videos on Windows for free, check out my video on that topic. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.